This is how it looks before. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Chanel, and I'm back with another cooking video. So today I'm making pot pies for Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is tomorrow. This video should be up today, which is Wednesday. Um, so yeah, I'm making pot pies for Thanksgiving. I'm also making pot pies for dinner tonight. And so I bought two of these Pillsbury deep dish crusts. Um, and so I have two of them. One, two. Let me get the bags out the way. Yeah, that was a refreshing. And then I also have these pie crusts and I'm gonna lay them on top of the uh, actual pie so right now I'm about to wash and dice my chicken and I'm gonna cook it and season it a little bit so that there's enough chicken to be in my pot pies because again I'm making two right now but I'm making two tomorrow so so right now I have the chicken out the pot pies are there and I've got the vegetables growing. The fire's going over here because I'm gonna cook the chicken in here once I dice it. And I've got the cream of chicken, which is like my base. And then these are the pie crusts that are gonna go on top of these. You'll see the whole process, so it's gonna be nice. I also have a half a stick of butter. And that is gonna be, I'm gonna butter the crusts. And I'm about to cut up the chicken. Just put some oil in the pan and that is getting hot. I didn't want to put too much where it seems like I'm going to fry the chicken. So I just now put the chicken in there and I'm going to put some seasoning on the chicken. Not too much, you know. So I put a little bit of seasoned salt and black pepper and you can see it's starting to sizzle a little bit so i'm about to kind of stir it up a little bit and also stir this up because it's getting warm you know this troublesome puppy come here prince boy come here puppy hi puppy hi puppy yes no don't touch me you sitting down yes papa all right okay, so while that's rocking and rolling i am done with the vegetables the fire's off i'm about to strain these and then i'm going to mix it with creamy chicken and some salt and pepper and prepare it for the chicken the yes. chicken is coming along so i poured it in here and again this is creamy chicken you can use any brand you like you can use the store-bought brand or you could use the um, Campbell's. So 
while the chicken goes still, I am about to put butter in my crust. And I use um, half of the half a stick um, because I just didn't feel like heating it all up right now because I don't want it to get cold and then have to reheat. But yeah, so right now I'm just putting the butter in both crusts and I'm gonna spread it around. I got them in the oven and they're gonna be in there for like five minutes. Now the chicken is done. I added a little more seasoning to it. Um, like right at the end. See, you can tell the chicken's done. It's white in the middle. Hopefully everybody watching has eaten chicken before and if you do not eat meat, I am sorry for your loss. Now I'm taking out my pie crust from the oven and I had them in there for five minutes. Ooh, it's breaking. I'm not happy about that. <sighs> okay. And so I'm about to shovel the filling in here. And I know you're probably thinking, sis, what about the chicken? But I'm going to do the chicken afterwards. Everything's good. So now I'm about to lay this crust on top. Oh. Bumbling the ball. Shawty thinks she bad like Rihanna. Okay. I got an overabundance of crust here, as you can probably see on camera. Let me go ahead and do the other one. Broken holes in my crust, broken holes in my crust. Okay, I got the crust on top. So I smashed my finger and eyes off camera. But I have my butter in now about to blend it in. We blend it in.
Oh my God. Guess what I forgot to do, y'all? Make the slits. Get out of here, Prince Floyd. Get out of here. Get the heck out of here, Prince Floyd. Ain't no for real. Get out. You're doing a lot. This is how it looks before. Now they're inside. And now I have to wash the dishes and let them cook and do that. So this is what they look like now. This is one. This is the other one. This one came out really good. I covered this one up for a while, and so I guess this why it came out like this, but it's still fine, and it's still edible. I just know what to do and what not to do for tomorrow.